back to the vlog. My name's Alicia. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. So a few things have gone on since I finished filming my last video, which was titled Six Weeks Out, but um, I did decide to change shows. So after talking to my coach and like reviewing the expenses that the NPC show was gonna cost me because it is in New York, um, we decided to just do the local OCB show that's a week after that um, because it's basically going to cost me nothing. It's still going to get me on stage one more time. And I do really still want that OCB pro card and I've been so close every time that who knows, maybe this is the time and it's literally like 15 minutes away from my house. So everything it would just be super easy because I can sleep at my house and like have all my food at my house and everything basically just pack a show day bag and head on over to the venue get on stage um hopefully win two pro cards because i've been so close every time i was super close in open and i was super close in masters um my first ocb show i actually um, won the masters in my class but then i did not win the overall um but then in the next show I did, I got third in Masters and second in Open. So again, I was just really, really close. And I feel like because we have six weeks, we can come in so much better. I have put some size on, which is good. And then now that we can just cut, cut hard and bump up cardio and really dig deep and push hard, I feel like we have a really, really good chance of maybe getting that pro card. Um, and I do really like the OCB. I really do like how the show is scheduled, how it's run. I always had a, I had a lot of fun at both of my shows. Um, I really like how you just, you get up, you do your comparisons. Everybody does um, their comparisons and then everybody does an eye walk, which is basically you get to have a photo shoot. Um, it's not judged as far as I know. Maybe it's judged, I don't know. The judges are watching you. But the eye walk is super fun. You basically just get to go out there and you have a minute, or thir I think it's supposed to be 30 seconds, to just get out there and put some personality into it. And every time I've done my eye walk, it's gotten a little bit better. My posing's gotten a little bit better. And I feel like this could be my show because it's basically in my hometown and it would be really cool to just win and my hometown and maybe network with people that are other local competitors or bodybuilders. It'd be super fun. So that's the plan. OCB, last show of the year, and then we're going to, to an off season because I am tired. I have been prepping since February, technically, technically January, but I wasn't super serious in January. I wasn't weighing my food. I was just guessing like I had all year basically the year before. Um, and then I stopped drinking completely in February and that's when I really saw the difference in everything I was doing. Um, and even last year I was when I was supposed to be in my building phase, I probably didn't build as much as I could have because I would be like, oh wow, I worked really hard today. Let me have a glass of wine or two or three or four. <laughs> yeah. So prep has done great things for me in all ways, shapes, and forms. So that's our prep update today. I kind of had a fun day with my friends. It's, um, I had my a day off of work. So I got up and did cardio, came home, ate, and went over to the gym and got my glutes and back workout in. Um, and then I brought some food with me and met my friends at an art festival. So it was super fun. We walked around and got shopping. Here's a little picture of me and my best friend outside this cute little witch's house. And it was all fall and everything was really pretty. So I have some footage of that on here as well. And then I got <laughs> my new favorite gym shirt because one of my, one of my very, very good old friends started a company doing like cute like designs on shirts and jewelry and stuff so i got my boyfriend a cool bracelet and then i got this shirt so this shirt is literally me in a nutshell at the gym <laughs> sorry for the profanity it's so true though because 
literally when I'm at the gym, like, don't talk to me. I have my big headphones on. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just here to work and do my thing. Um, at my new gym, I guess, it's a little different because there's a lot of, like, other bodybuilders there. And uh, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't be bad to make friends. But at other gyms I've been to, it's literally just, like, creepy old men or 14-year-old kids. So, yeah, we don't want to talk to them. So my friend designs these shirts. I will link her info below. Um, Kyella Design Company, I'm trying to see if it'll focus, yes it will, um, but I'll link her below, so if you guys also want to not give a fuck and shop all of her other really cool designs, you can go for it. So I just got home a little while ago and I'm really, really tired, really sore. I just had some food. I just had some of my healthy chicken nuggets with my sugar-free honey mustard sauce and some green beans. And I think tonight I'm just gonna chill, I have some setting to do, some um, NASM that's coming up <laughs> super quick. And I'm trying to really buckle down and get that done so that I can start um, training at a gym or maybe do online coaching. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go with it. Either way, it's really helping me learn a lot more about anatomy and um, training in general to help with my own workouts and my own prep. So I'm finding it really helpful regardless. I just wanna make sure I actually take the test this time because this is the third time I've actually signed up. Um, I had signed up back when it was the sixth edition of the NASM and I just, I never took the test and never got through it. The information, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff you probably really don't need in there too. Um, and so I've been actually following Show Up Fitness. Their videos have been super helpful studying because they kind of just like cut through all the BS. Like, but like you don't need this, you're never gonna do this, but NASA wants you to know this, so know it and then forget about it. And that's kind of how I feel too, because like I was going through the thing and I was just like, I would, if I was training somebody, I would never have them do some of this stuff. It's so stupid especially if they're trying to like build muscle it's just stupid but um i want to get the certification and then maybe do some further education um through show Up fitness or somewhere else i don't really know i'm just gonna do some research because i really like how they teach and i really like how they have like a no nonsense feel to everything so that's really great so i think tonight i'm just gonna study i'm gonna take a bath epsom salts and get another meal in and get a rice cake dessert in and do some yoga stretching because my legs are sore. I don't know why my quads are like have been sore for three days, three days. I don't, I don't really know what I did, but when I was doing hip thrusts today, they were kind of sore too. So I don't know. My, I need to stretch. <laughs> I need to stretch. I need to foam roll. So it's going to be the game plan for the night and just chill, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I just finished some posing. I'm really trying to nail down a really good eye walk for this time because this is my last competition in the season. So I really want my eye walk to be different, unique, um, have a little bit more sass, a little more attitude. So I've been just kind of changing it up from the last time. The last time it was, it wasn't bad. The first time was bad, I messed up at the end. But I'm just trying to have a nice eye walk this time because, you know, it's my last competition for a while. So I wanna make sure it's really, really good. So that's what we're working on today. I had some feedback from a friend of mine. So we're trying to implement some of that stuff. And let's get to posing.
Okay guys, we are back from the gym. We did legs and we did back and I did some posing so I feel accomplished. I'm wearing my new shirt. I really feel like it should say, I don't give a fuck about men because it seems like everywhere I go lately, men are just like, they think like, I don't know, women are here for their entertainment purposes and it's really annoying. So, I don't know, I like my new shirt. So right now I'm just cooking up my post-workout meal, some oatmeal. I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm so freaking hungry. And my legs hurt, my back hurts. And we're just watching the queen, Miss Laura Lee Trapados, while we are cooking. I don't know, my brain's mush right now. I need carbs, time to eat. Going in for meal number two, which is some oatmeal with apples, some protein powder, some peanut butter, and some sugar-free, zero-calorie caramel sauce. Okay, I have eaten. The hangry is starting to subside. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I feel very, um, I don't really know how to describe it, just weird. Um, not tired, maybe overtired, overtired, over something. I don't know, I just feel like kind of like in a fog or something, I don't know. After the gym, I was just really, really hungry. So I came home and I got my food in. So hopefully now it's gonna feel a little better. So I don't really have much to do today. I usually don't have much to do after the gym. I'm gonna study, I have all my study stuff here, but I did get, some stuff from the bunny collection. Yay. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that was on sale, so yay. Um, I'm gonna open some of this stuff up and we'll do a try on. That'll be fun. I'll probably film the try on, not all today. I'll just film it as I actually wear it, which will be probably all week. Um, got some purple some black floral oh and this one I really love it's like the gold flecked Nile super pretty oh Rosa legging Nile gold bossy I love the funny collection and just some black and black I have actually like literally Following Buff Bunny was what kind of got me into weightlifting and got me off of the machines at the gym and following kind of a workout split. So when she launched the clothing back in the day, I guess, oh my God, it was a while ago now. The first outfits I had, I've had to sell them all because they were all larges and extra larges. And these are all size smalls. So I wear a size small and everything in Buff, Buff Bunny. I'm 5'7", 100 and right now 35 pounds, but stage weights usually last time stage weight was 130 and we'll see what happens this time um so yeah right now 135 size small and a lot of other stuff i have from buff bunny is all size small too i do have a couple actually i think the leggings i'm wearing right now might be a medium these these guys yeah this set i love this set so I think this, I know the top is a small, the leggings might be a medium, they are a little big. But yeah, the stuff fits good, it's good quality. Um, not sponsored, just like it. So um, yeah, the story. I'm sorry, my brain is literally dead today. Dead, gone, we're, we're, we're not here today, we're not. I have too much on my mind. I have NASM on my mind, I have prep on my mind. I have, other stuff on my mind but yeah yeah so I've had to sell all my other buff bunny stuff that I've had like all my OG pieces like the black marble the white marble there was a really cool red set I had with some mesh in it and the the even the ice collection where they had the ballerina which is like my dream come true to do a buff bunny photo shoot as a ballerina because I was a ballerina not a real ballerina but like you know fake adult ballerina but I can dance on point so yeah, I had to sell a lot of that stuff because it just is like huge on me, which isn't a bad thing. Not complaining. 
Um, it's the best I've ever felt about my body. So yeah, so, so what? We had to go shopping and buy some new clothes. This is what we got, new clothes. Super exciting. Let's try some stuff on. It is Taco Tuesday. So we are having a taco bowl with a corn tortilla at the bottom, some ground beef, extra, extra lean, some lettuce, some mango pico, and some low-fat Greek yogurt as sour cream and salsa, and some reds. Delicious. Happy Taco Tuesday. sitting outside the gym drinking my pre hoping it's gonna give me some kind of energy because right now I don't know maybe it's just because it's it's cold and it's rainy again yesterday I had a lot of energy in the afternoon but then tanked at night like zero zero energy at night in the afternoon I hit a wall at like three o'clock but today I've just been kind of tired all day and yeah, I normally don't do pre on upper body days. Today we're doing shoulders, triceps, I think, and abs. And then I'm going to work on some posing. But yeah, it's just sometimes prep just gets really hard. Um, I've been prepping since like February, technically January, but I didn't really get serious about it till end of February. And then just like with a few breaks and everything. So really, I don't know, maybe it's just, just gonna push hard right now because it's gonna be so worth it to get on stage in my home state one more time. Hopefully get that pro card or pro cards and then have a nice deserved, oh crap. Oh, almost lost the rest of the pre. There's still pre in here. So yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna get it done. Let's go. As it is pouring and we're supposed to get some kind of like nor'easter or something tonight. So it's really gross out. Um, I have 10,647 steps. So I guess I got some extra steps, but that's fine. Um, I was going to go to the grocery store, but it's pouring and I'm cranky and my back hurts and I'm tired and I kind of just want to go home and eat and stretch. I don't have anything else to do tonight. Just study, stretch, eat, nothing really crazy planned. So that's good. I'm happy with how my eye walk is coming along. I did have a friend kind of give me some critique on my posing, so that was good. Um, it's always nice to have another eye. My coach and I do work on posing too, and she definitely helps me, but I don't know. I feel like I just want to take like posing classes everywhere. <laughs> like I want to take posing classes from everyone, and one of my friends, um, she actually wants to be a posing coach so I was like oh I'll be your guinea pig just like help me out <laughs> look at my posing because her posing is really really pretty and I know she works with um Lauren Dana Miller IFBB pro on her posing so 
Yeah, so it's fun. Oh, my camera's falling over. We're falling over. We're in the car. I've never filmed in the car before. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but yeah, it's pouring, so I'm just going to go home. It's 3.30. I'm going to go home and eat and take an Epsom salt bath and stretch because my back really hurts today. I don't know why. It was okay yesterday. Um, probably just because I'm doing a lot of posing and everything. So yeah, we're going to go home, stretch, eat chill um study study that's what we're gonna do because we're gonna get through the whole opt model today yeah getting through a chapter a day we're gonna be ready we're gonna be ready we're gonna pass this thing uh because i don't want to do it again because i just want to be able to relax because i feel like last prep i got to just like go home from the gym and chill i don't have anything to work on and this one i have so many things to work on but it's gonna be okay What's up guys? It is Saturday and we are officially five weeks out from OCB Battle of the Gods. I am shooting a wedding today. It is my last one of the season. I know I said that in the last video, but I didn't think I was going to end up doing this wedding because I work for a company and they didn't pay me for a wedding I did a couple months ago. So I basically wrote them an email and I was like, hey, you know, since you didn't pay me, sorry, I'm not doing this. And they said it was a system error, which I don't think because I quit. So, and sorry, I'm eating my pre-wedding French toast. Yes, yummy. Um, and I have all my food packed because I was just thinking this morning that this is the last show that OCB is having in my area for the year. And I've been so close to getting that pro card. My first competition, if you've uh, been on my channel, I got to the overall and I got second in the overall. And I didn't compete in open because I was like, I can't compete with um, younger girls. But then my second competition, I did do the open and I got second place. So I didn't make it to the overall, but I feel like I've been so close every time. And I was just thinking, oh my God, I want this pro card, these Masters Pro and Open Pro. I want these pro cards so bad. I told my coach, Melina, do your worst. I'm freaking ready. I want it so bad. And I'm already thinking like, <laughs> If I get second place again or third place and I don't make it to the overall or if I do get in the overall and then I get second place, I don't get my pro card. Oh my God, where, how many other shows is OCB having for the rest of the year? There's two after my show. So one's in North Carolina, one's in Virginia. So I'm like, oh my God, if I, if I, can, if I get second place again and... I get feedback that they're like, oh, you know, come in three pounds leaner and you'll get it. Or, you know, feedback is just come in a smidge bit leaner, a smidge bit tighter. Um, I'm like, oh, will I go to Virginia and just like compete in that one and try to get it too? I want it so bad. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my French toast. I'm running a little late, shocker. I'll see you after this wedding. All right, so I finished the wedding. I got home, it was kind of late. I had to eat more food because I didn't hit my protein goal because at weddings, as a photographer, I'm basically just running around all day and there's no like, I, my meal timing is kind of off. So I'm basically just trying to make sure my work obviously takes priority over me stuffing my face with a chicken or something in the corner. So I got home pretty late and I made some protein crepes and was trying to get the last of my water in and went to bed. Woke up this morning about a pound and a half heavier than I've been all week. But I usually do hold some water after a wedding day just because my whole meal timing is off and everything and I'm carrying heavy things around all day and I'm on my feet a lot and I definitely got a lot of my food in afterwards. So today is my check-in day. So even though my weight is up a little bit, I definitely look a little leaner than last week. Coach agrees, so we're gonna check in tomorrow with weight before we make any adjustments, just to see if it's just me holding water from the wedding. I also feel like oh, I woke up with some cramps today. Like, 
Mother Nature is coming back again. 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 Like, what is this? Now I get Mother Nature comes every two weeks? Like, it's ridiculous. Um, so that's going to be something I have to either figure out that the birth control I'm on probably isn't working for my body now that my body is so different and maybe figure something else out, try something new, um, talk to my doctor, see what's going on there because having cramps and that kind of stuff once a month is plenty for me. Like we don't need it anymore. So today I make this breakfast and then me and my best friend are going to go to a pumpkin patch kind of farm stand thing and have a nice day. It's beautiful out. This is my first day off in two weeks. So I'm happy and it's like my second day off in a month. So yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, we're gonna go for a nice little walk. Get some steps in because step goal yesterday I definitely didn't hit because when I got home I was really tired. Um, so yeah, five weeks out as of yesterday. I definitely I feel good going into this I feel like five weeks is a lot of time we have a lot a lot a lot of time and I'm not it's not like I have to lose 20 pounds like I did my first prep so I think we're in a good spot and let's go to the pumpkin patch <laughs> Okay guys, so that is gonna be the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the try on haul and some of my food and prep updates. So if you wanna see more things like this from me, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and have a great week. We are about a little under five weeks out now, so hopefully I can get another video up for you guys soon. Bye.